Dana is about to get almost $50 million in new manufacturing equipment. The additions are part of City Council's plan to make the plant an economic revitalization area. News Channel 15 Sarah Wagner was at tonight's meeting and joins us now with what this means for Dana. Council unanimously approved the plan earlier tonight. The vote means not only getting the new equipment, but also keeping hundreds of jobs at the plant. You don't want to lose a staple that you've had in your community for 70 plus years and have it go to another community. Approving the money for Dana is something both councilmen and Dana employees say makes for a bright future for the company and the community. We know that we're up for new contracts and to get those new contracts we need a little bit better equipment. Patty Burns and Janine Parrish have both worked at Dana for nearly 30 years. They say today's news offers something that's becoming rare. We thought Dana, ever since I worked there 30 years, they always said it was going to go out the door like Harvester. Yeah. You know, there's hardly any non-union shops in here anymore, so it's good that it's a union shop and it's going to stay. It's hard work, good pay. The new equipment will cost $49 million. With tonight's move by council, the assessed value will go down each year, essentially serving as a tax break for the company. Now, these machines will make uh, axles front and rear axles for four-wheel drive vehicles. Tom Herendeen is the union president for Dana. He's also worked at the plant for the better part of two decades. Herendeen calls the new equipment state-of-the-art. He says it shows just how far the plant has come in recent years. Well, this is a direct 180-degree turnaround. This is a true success story, a complete turnaround, and it is truly a revitalization. As you've just heard, Dana has been a community staple for decades. We've told you about what's in store for the future, and now we want to walk you back through its history. Mark is here to give us a look at Dana through the years. Dana's history in Fort Wayne goes back nearly 70 years. Dana was actually founded in 1903 and made a variety of products for the country during World Wars I and II. It quickly became very profitable. More production was needed. That ultimately led to the building of the Fort Wayne facility in 1945. Company leaders saw the plant as an important part of Dana's transition from building war components to building civilian products. For the next 40-some years, Dana's light axle products plant in Fort Wayne hummed along. Long. However, the company was headed toward rocky times. Oil embargoes, along with demand for smaller vehicles, hurt Dana's bottom line. The company also ran into several labor disputes with its unions over pay and benefits. One of the worst labor disputes was at Dana's plant in Angola, where the union filed several lawsuits. The company ultimately ended up closing that plant down in 1993. Now, during the 1990s, Fort Wayne's plant managed to survive. However, it did shed hundreds of jobs. By the year 2000, the once mighty plant only had about 1,100 workers left. Financial woes for the company continued, and Dana ended up closing all of its northeast Indiana plants except for Fort Wayne. Then in 2006, the company filed for bankruptcy, saying it had more than $2.3 billion worth of debt. Now, at that point, many feared that the Fort Wayne plant was on the verge of being shuttered. It now had fewer than 150 employees, and the facility was quickly aging. Then in 2011, the company ended up closing the Marion plant instead and actually moved about 100 of those jobs here to Fort Wayne. For now, the Fort Wayne plant appears to be on steady ground, employing just under 500 people. With this investment, the plant is poised to remain a valuable part of Dana's production unit for years to come.